Very good, honey. What's up? Six is quizzing me on the driver's manual. Go ahead, Six. Ask me anything. Who's hotter, Jason Priestley or Luke Perry? <laughs> I meant a driving question. Okay. Who's a better driver, Jason Priestley or Luke Perry? <laughs> Come on, Six. I gotta learn the stuff to get my license. When do you actually get behind the wheel? Well, I've been practicing with my dad, but he gets incredibly uptight. First about my driving, then about how much traffic there is, then pretty soon he's mumbling stuff about Nixon. <laughs> Would you mind taking me up for a driving lesson, Grandpa? That'll be your Christmas present from me. I'll give the earrings to your dad. <laughs> oh, God, Christmas. I haven't even done any of my shopping yet. Well, take your time. You've got one full shopping day left. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas! Santa's helpers have arrived with all the decorations. So, Joey, what do you want for Christmas? Miss December. <laughs> I mean, real presents. Ah, oh, she's got a couple of real presents, all right. <laughs> all right, it's from Mom in Paris. Mom, let me see. Gifts en route. Well, she speaks French. <laughs> Who's Jean-Claude? Her boyfriend. She wrote me about him last month. He's a painter. Are you okay with that? I mean, your mom having a new boyfriend and all? Sure. I mean, she's got to get on with her life. Yeah? Well, what about your dad? He doesn't want to know about it. Hey, guys, look, fruitcake. <laughs> oh, God, that's from 1986. A friend of mine gave it to me. He had four of them. He had his car up on them. <laughs> Five-year-old fruitcake. How does it look? <laughs> It smells awful, too. Hmm. Oh. Ah, it tastes okay. Joey! Yeah. Hello, everybody! Oh, hey, Hello, Daddy. boys! Merry Christmas, Dad. <laughs> Hello, Six. Hello, sweetness. <laughs> Hello, Buzz, you old goat. Oh, what are you so happy about? I got a gig, Chrome Dome. Oh. I'm gonna be working with Scott, scoring a whole series of commercials. Congratulations! It's great, Mr. Russo. Yeah, there's not a lot of work for musicians since synthesizers took over the business. Oh, what will you be playing? Synthesizers. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself instead of waltzing in here like Tinkerbell. Hey, it's Christmas and I got a family to support. <laughs> let's go practice driving. Come on, Thelma and Louise, let's ride. Great, can you drop me off at my house? Sure. Hey, you be careful out there. I, I will, will Dad. Dad. I promise. Hey, I'm trusting you to take care of her. That's the only smart thing you've done all day. <laughs> now, you watch your speed. Stay off the main roads. And be careful. Got a job, sha -na -na -na, sha -na 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 -na. Got a job, sha -na -na -na, sha -na 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 -na. Sha Hello? Hey, Scott. Hey, what time do we start recording tomorrow? Cancel? Why is it canceled? Ah, oh, perfect. 
The last strike lasted nearly four months. Yeah, well, I'll see you on the picket line. Yeah, bye, Scott. Grandpa! Oh, my God! Grandpa! Oh, my God! Grandpa! Oh, my God! Grandpa! Oh my God. What, what, what is it? It says merge! What do I do? Merge? I'm merging! It's a cake. I have no idea what I'm doing out here, you know. Doesn't that bother you? It bothers me. Well, relax, will you? Everything's fine. But I'm on a main road. So what? My dad said stick to the side streets. Well, what are you worried about? What can happen? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, now just pull it over. Just pull over to the side here. <laughs> and pipe down. That's it. That's it. and I swear I'll never do anything wrong again for the rest of my life. You need to open the window, sweetheart. Otherwise, he'll call in the SWAT team. <laughs> oh, officer. Driver's license, registration, and insurance, please. Yes, sir, officer. I don't actually have my license yet, but um, here's my learner's permit, and here's the registration thing and the insurance thing. I'm her best friend. <laughs> and you're kid brother. <laughs> He's my grandpa. Give me the owner's manual, ma'am. But that was wrong, wasn't it? Yes, <laughs> I need the registration. Coming up. You know how fast you were going? 70. No, seven. Oh, what the hell's wrong with that? It's illegal and dangerous, sir. So that gives you the right to stop us, huh? I need to see your driver's license, too, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, here you are. There seems to be a $20 bill stuck to it, sir. Really? How odd. <laughs> Let's hear your plan. <laughs> this is a pilot's license, sir. Well, so what? If I can fly a plane, I sure as hell can drive a car. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Richmond? Francis Richmond? Wait a minute, you're not Buzz Richmond, the piano player, are you? Well, as uh, luck would have it, yes, I am, son. Oh, unbelievable! I... Oh. I am a total jazz freak. I have a 78 of the Chicago session you did with Wingy Manone. Oh, I, I, it's a pleasure to meet you. Really, I'm sure that's true. <laughs> well, look, um, Buzz, <laughs> I'm gonna let this go, okay? But get your driver's license renewed. I was actually on my way there right now. <laughs> and you, you better let your grandpa drive home, okay? Okay. So long. Bye. <laughs> now, switch places. Sure. Francis. Well, this ought to be fun. Why? I haven't driven a car since 1946. <laughs> horrible idea. Are you kidding? That's a great idea. Because when you're done eating the popcorn, you can use a string for floss. Shall we? <laughs> so, what are you guys getting Dad this year? I got an idea. Why don't we put all of our money together and get him one really awesome gift? Oh, that's a good idea, Joey. I've got uh, $22. I've got 40 That's 62 Joe? Well, after I buy gifts for you guys, I'm only going to have three bucks left. We don't need gifts. Well, okay, then I got $4.50. <laughs> Just leave me alone, will you? I'd like to leave you alone on a rock in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> what are you three doing? Just leave me alone. <laughs> so what are you going to do about it? 
About what? The ozone layer. What do you think? Listen, this strike may go on for a while. You've got a, a house and a family to think about. Oh, gee, that completely slipped my mind. Hey, you just worry about you, okay? That's yeah. all you've ever done in the past. It seems to be a family trait. You know, you're a hard guy to help, Nick. But I'll take a crack at it. Look, I left the track the other day with a couple of hundred bucks. I'd like you to have it. Now it's for the kids. Thanks. It's a very nice offer. I'll remind you of it when you sober up. Well, don't hold your breath. Here. No, no, no thanks, Buzz. I've already taken care of things. Music got me into this spot, and music will get me out. Hey, Six, can you try this on? You want to see me in that? No, I just want to see the mannequin naked. Julie, she doesn't have a head. With a body like that, who needs a head? Who is playing that music? Dad? What are you doing here? This is a mall. We're shopping. <laughs> Aren't you going to get in trouble for playing that organ? Uh, six. I think it's okay. Right, Dad? That's right. Uh, I'm just helping a friend sell organs. Hey, dude, no fraternizing. Skunk? Hey, dude, what's going on? Oh, not much. How about you? Well, get this. My old man's brother, he croaks it down in Miami, right? So my old man's all, you're in charge, son. I know you can handle it. So you're running the store? You're looking at the boss man, the supreme being. That is so cool. Do you think that I could get a job here? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could be like... Assistant manager? What's the assistant manager do? You just give this guy orders. <laughs> I don't hear any Yuletide sounds, dude. It's just for the holidays. And it's music, you know. Well, I think it's great, Dad. You get to play and sell these fantastic organs. It's way cool, isn't it, Tony? Yeah, cool. It's terrific, isn't it, Joey? It's the perfect job for a musician on strike. Well, yeah, I guess it's okay. It's more than okay. It's sensational. Yeah, I guess it is, Dad. It's great, Dad. Oh, Dad. Great. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I would have thought it would be, like, totally humiliating. <laughs> I'm a musician, and I'm earning my living playing music. The first Noel, dude, and hit the Calypso button. Hey, Tony, take it easy. It's just tinsel. Maybe tinsel to you, but it's a flashback to me, all right? This thing had a face on it when it flew by me. <laughs> hey, do you remember that Christmas when you surprised us all and came down the chimney? That wasn't intentional, Joe. I was trying to find the front door. All right, let's plug these in and see if they're working. All right. <sighs> okay. They're working. Not working. They're working. Not working. They're working. Not working. They're working. Not working. They're working. No, they're not working. Not working. They're not working. They're working. Joey! They're blinkers. Oh, in that case, they're working. Now they're not working. Joey. I'm just joking. I'm not joking. Just gonna plug in a few more strands, all right? Okay. Not okay. This isn't a 
turkey? It's an ice cube. Well, that's because it's frozen. Oh, no. The direction said thaw for two days. Well, we don't have time for that. So what are we going to do? Well, you got a microwave, don't you? Yeah. Well, there's only one thing to do. Nuke it! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Tony went to turn on the lights, and the next thing we know, boom, the tree is on fire. What a mess. This is perfect. After a long day with skunk, Dad gets to come home to a fried Christmas. <laughs> Can't we just get a new tree? Yeah, I paid 60 bucks for that one. Maybe he won't notice. We'll just say we had it flocked. <laughs> this is awful. You should have seen my dad, Grandpa. I felt so bad for him. But when we were at the mall, you told him it was a great job. I was trying to cheer him up, Miss. You must feel so humiliated. <laughs> well, he's got a gig. What's the problem? He's reduced to wearing a Santa hat and playing sleigh bells for some cretin a 17-year-old headbanger. <laughs> I'll have to go by and see him. <laughs> Why, thank you. My name's Millie Hortzberg. I'm... Nick Russo. I've been watching you. You have? From across the mall, I work at the cheese store. I can tell. I have cheese in my pocket. I thought you were just glad to see me. <laughs> oh, but I am! <laughs> yes. Well... Cheese ball? Yes, I think you are correct. Hey, dudes. Oh, uh, hi, skunk. This is Millie. Uh, yeah, from uh, the cheese house. Yeah, I know. Hey, cheese ball. <laughs> Come see me on your break. Yeah, listen, Nick. I was talking to my old man, you know, down in Miami, and he gave me, you know, like a message. Oh, really? What is it? No friend! <laughs> listen, skunk, you raise your voice to me. Hey, dude, I... no, no, you listen to me, all right? You've got what I would call a major attitude problem, man. So, um, why don't you just play your tunes and sell some organs, okay? Hey, and the cheese chick is mine. <laughs> hey, look, skunk, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, I mean, it's Christmas Eve, or we're working together, we're both into music. Oh. <laughs> You call what you play music? Oh, and I suppose what you listen to is music? Hey, dude, I'm in, like, to Megadeth, you know, Anthrax, Slayer. I mean, those guys, those guys are like immortal. <laughs> Skunk, has it ever occurred to you that all these so-called bands you're into are virtually interchangeable? That they all have the same stupid hair, the same stupid spandex pants, the same stupid t-shirts, and every single lead singer is doing a bad impression of a wounded cat, while the rest of them try to sound like the only decent heavy metal band who ever walked the face of the planet, Led Zeppelin? Who? <laughs> Forget it. Forget the whole thing. Hey, dude, you know, I really don't need some, like, bitter old man coming down here and bringing me down on Christmas Eve. I mean, I'm, like, totally stressed here. I mean, here I am, the boss, I'm the man, and I'm totally stressed out. It's not right. Are you with me? No, skunk, I am not with you. Look, this just isn't working out, man. Um, I'm gonna go another way. Another way? Are you saying you're firing me? Well, yeah. I'm gonna get a drummer. What kind of Christmas carols can a drummer play? Well, for openers, a little drummer boy. Moron. <laughs> what a day. The tree's totally burnt. There's hardly any presents. The house smells like a fire sale. And this is the last of the fruitcake. <laughs> How did you end up getting your own man? Polaroid camera. To preserve all these wonderful Kodak moments.
Merry Christmas. You're giving me a jack for Christmas, Dad? It's not just for you. It's for all of you to share. I'm sorry I didn't have time to get it wrapped. Buzz, you can use it, too. Feliz Navidad. Dad? Yes, dear. Are you all right? I'm just fine. Nothing can happen to me now. It's the tree, isn't it? Chewie! We had a slight problem with the tree, and... Oh, I like the tree. It's beautiful. The tree is just fine. Was there a problem at work? No, Skunk fired me, but I'm happy about that. Where have you been? I went shopping in the mall with a sea of hostile, crazed-looking people, but I managed to get wonderful gifts for each of you. Even you, Buzz. Then I waited in these lines from hell to get them wrapped all pretty with little bows and little bells. Stand by the phone, Joey. Finally, I was done. I put them all in the car, and I started home. And then I saw the pregnant lady on the freeway. She was standing off to the side by her car, waving. She's in trouble, I thought, so I pulled over. She walked up to me and said she had a flat tire. Could I help her change it? It's Christmas Eve, pregnant lady in trouble. <laughs> Does this involve a manger and three wise guys? <laughs> so I said, of course. And I got the jack, and I started back to her car, and then two things happened. A guy pops up from the front seat in her car and drives off. With a flat tire? The tire wasn't flat, Joe. And the woman jumps in my car and drives away. <laughs> in my car. <laughs> she drives away. <laughs> With all your presents. <laughs> she did leave the baby, though. She looks a lot like her mom. Oh, Dad. Dad. Dad, Dad. <sighs> I guess you feel really stupid, huh? Yeah, I do, Joe. I can relate. <laughs> you did the right thing, Dad. This is the worst Christmas ever. This is a black Christmas. This is the anti-Christmas. Rottweilers chased me home. Oops. <laughs> What's that? Mm -mm. You know your premise that nothing more could go wrong? I think that was slightly premature. Who wants dark meat? <laughs> Would you all mind leaving me alone for a little while? I, I'd like to spend some time by myself reviewing my life. Gee, Dad, that sounds kind of depressing. Why don't you review Hugh Hefner's life? Here's the 50 bucks I got left from Skunk. Why don't you go get us a whole bunch of pizzas? We'll start a brand new Christmas tradition. Well... Oh, I'll go on. I'll be okay. I think it's a good idea. Come on. Oh, look! Carolers! Tis the season to be done. Now, have a good time and don't hurry back, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not going to put your head in the oven, are you? I wouldn't do anything to cheer you up, Buzz. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Jeez. It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life will continue. And now, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, yeah. And yes, minutos. It's a Wonderful Life. Stay tuned for It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> Nick. That's right. I'm Jean-Claude, Maddie's boyfriend, your ex-wife. Of course, my ex-wife. I'm passing through Los Angeles on my way to Tahiti to paint. No kidding. 
Anyway, Maddie asked me to drop off these presents. And these are from me. I've heard so much about your children, I, I feel I know them. <laughs> so, uh, these are from Maddie. Yes. And uh, these are from you. Yes. My ex-wife's French boyfriend. Yes. For my children on your way to Tahiti. Yes. To paint. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> To blossom with love from dad. <laughs> <laughs> to Joey, from your loving daddy. <laughs> to Tony, from your papa. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.